you have a stored procedure in your SQL Server DB and you want to execute this in Azure Data Factory. How to do it? Where to do it? Let's try to check it out as part of this video. Welcome to Analytics with Nax. So what we are going to do is like we have a customer table information and where uh, the phone number is to be updated from a data factory. That's what we are going to see. For that, we have uh, Azure Data Factory and our procedure resides in uh, SQL Server. And this data factory creates one pipeline that will call the stored procedure to update this customer phone number. That is what we are going to see. This channel contains a free content with uh, that covers the Power BI, MS BI, and fundamentals of Azure and this data factory as well. Please feel free to share this channel with your friends and colleagues, those who want to enter in data analytics career. Let's begin. So I am in uh, Azure data factory now. Let's try to check it out the data. Uh, I have one uh, database here and in that I have a customer information that is John and Shakshi and we have many more entries that is file just for our demo purpose we will stick to this two records so this customer information is missing so how I can update it that's what we're going to see so let me go into our uh, data factory I just uh, executed a pipeline that's what appear here let's try to demonstrate from the beginning so where we need to do this is part of the pipeline activity so earlier whatever task we do that is in the data flows but the calling a procedure is part of the pipeline activity so let's try to create a pipeline i will name it as update customer update customer so in this activity you need to go and search for stored procedure drag and drop so this is the pipeline and in that pipeline you have an activity that is stored procedure search for it and drag and drop now we are going to configure this procedure so once you go here we need to choose the link services staging and in that link service you have uh, basically it is the um, uh, which server or database it is you will choose this one and then in that you will select the procedure so let me go and show you the procedure here so here you have a, okay here you have a procedures two procedures here let me show the definition of it view definition so it's a simple procedure which takes the customer ID as the input and phone number as the input both are input and then based on the customer ID uh, it will do the filter and update the phone number this is a simple procedure you can have a very big complex uh, logic whatever uh, you want to um, achieve that can be done in your procedures let's boom back to our um, uh, data factory so this is the customer phone number now you can see the uh, parameters are not uh, came here yet so you can just press the import so just remember to press this import so that those parameters will also come here so basically uh, right now what I'm going to do is let's try to check the data that we have done in the previous step you see customer ID the this procedure requires a customer ID to be passed and you need a phone number this customer to uh, phone number is empty let's try to pass manually right now to and then phone number as plus nine one zero 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 uh, whatever uh, random number I'm pressing right now so just put that one that's it so now you have configured your procedure uh, like choosing the connection and which procedure you need to call and parameters you want to pass this is all we did manually here usually uh, you when you design the procedure you will pass it dynamically from passing the parameters from the pipelines or the previous step 
that is fine for now uh, to uh, make our understanding simple uh, to make the basics simple uh, what I'm trying to do here is let's try to run this by entering the manual parameters that we did right now so just press debug let's wait for a few minutes there you go it was very quick so now this has been completed now now you go to uh, your database and check this data you can see now we have entered uh, 0, 0, 0, 7, 2, 8, 2, 8. this is what we have uh, achieved right now so I hope uh, you like this video how to call a procedure um, we have achieved what we are going to do today so now we have achieved what we have to do today like we have called the procedure and passed the parameters and updated the customer info if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for this do remember that data is your asset